where is there to start? In grade 12, I did a calculus, um, like a take-home course, independent studies, just because I wanted to do uh, more challenging subjects and there was not a calculus course in the high school, so I did my own course uh, through the AP or whatever program, or whatever it's called. And uh, I also had thought. <laughs> and so, <laughs> what is this thought? I wrote this first in this page, and I was thinking I would write some poetry or something, and I would also prove some calculus things, record some proofs to uh, help me learn. This first proof is proving the derivative of a variable to the power n equals n times the variable raised to the power of n minus 1. And there is the proof. And like, so obviously you can see these um, poetry word circles, everything going around. It is in intense what's going on in here and uh like i can't even begin to like look at it all as a whole it isn't a whole like look at this little this is just the start novus ordo seclorum that's ancient latin for new order of the ages and let's see, I could go say here, a picture of our world. Or like, um, you can't have nothing, it's all you have. These little phrases, these little bite sizes. I always had an issue with idiomatic representation of reality. Someone says, Oh, don't worry about it. You tried hard. That's the best you can do. Oh, don't worry about it. You can do it if you try again. Or, oh, sometimes you just have to give up. Or some of all these sorts of sorts of things, right? It's like there's different kinds of idioms. There's like there's idioms that contradict one another directly, like like look at the bright side of life, or it's always going to turn out the way you don't want it to. Or like, there's just these ways that people say, oh, you know what? I had that interpretation once and here's my statement that I always say when I encounter that thought or perception, I just utter these words in this order, five, six, seven, 12 words, doesn't matter, I just say it again. And when I say it again, it implies that nothing more needs to be said. That's how most idioms actually work. It's like, aha, it's a really cruel world out there. Okay, that helps, <laughs> sure. Straight off the edge. Lots of the content of this journal is, um, a lot of the content of the journal is kind of my reaction to the idiomatic and like it turned out to be so much more always enough with nothing never always close calculus and thought but not much calculus of numbers anyway <laughs> there was something funny here i saw just a second ago yeah um where is it um, it's so much in here, so much. It's hard to find anything again. <laughs> if I archived it, it would be nonsense. <laughs> oh my gosh, it doesn't make sense. But it's like, all of it's just like, just like an idiom doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to say, always look on the bright side of life. It just is a figure of speech. But what if meaning is all messed up? Like something that's not apparent here in the literal meanings of the words is how much stress I was under 
and what was actually going on in the social setting of my life. It was actually very, very confusing. And like, yeah, there was a lot of changes that had to go on and not just like an idiom to solve the problem. What was that you say? The wind blew my tie in my face. <laughs> it's funny. I really do enjoy this stuff because it's mind boggling. Oh, there was something I saw. Where was it? Um, hmm. Oops, this is falling apart now. Huh. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. Wild. 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 So strange. I couldn't even write it down and read it like poetry, except as to like, just mention it in passing. I have a hypothesis. Some things matter, right? So there's an idiom that like surrounds these ideas, like anything goes, nothing really matters in the big scheme of things, that sort of thing. And it's a conceptual, emotional, historical violation of free language and thought, actually, to impose idioms like that on people who are suffering and just tell them everything is right until it's wrong. Not just, duh, everything you know. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, it sounds nonsensical, but this is my reaction to like a whole culture saying, think this way, feel this way, put it in your head, don't let it out. So, strange. Hmm. So strange. Very, very strange. As much as I am stuck in my own postmodern narrative, this before you is not a postmodern meta narrative. This isn't one. I can't understand. I do understand. Verse Visa. That's like a direct parallel to what I was just saying about being forced to use an idiom. And it's opposite idiom, like look up, look down, or whatever the idiom is saying, it's just contradictory. Nothing matters, everything matters, make it matter, don't care, care more. Just like vice versa, right? Vice versa. Put it around, switch it around, make people think and do what the opposite of their thinking is. Because most people who drop an idiom like that are thinking, you have an idea, you're expressing something. Let me pop something the opposite of that and say you're wrong. That's what most people do, they say you're wrong. So, and it just gets more wild. <laughs> okay, let's uh, turn it off for now. <laughs>